What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arundel bringing you once again another TTC Tony Tank Cave tutorial. Guys, we have the Mikul M8S Pro L. As you can see guys, we've already done a flash tutorial in this box. But this box just keeps on giving, man. And if it keeps on giving so much, then we gonna take and we gonna give back just as hard. Guys, another thing before we continue, uh, I am on a quest to reach 1,000 subscribers, guys. I mean, you know, uh, I wanna bring out some good content. I wanna be on top of the food chain. I wanna, I want everything what everybody else wants. And in order for me to get there, I need your help. Yes, I'm talking to you. I need your help guys, if you guys can just help me out by liking my video and subscribing, you will be doing me a big deal. That would just pretty much seal the marriage that we got together, that's right. Ain't nobody getting divorced. So if you can help a brother out and just subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. With all that being said, uh, I will have two versions of the ROM because as many of you guys know, uh, there are different versions of this uh, of this box. Uh, but you uh, might have a different version. You might have the Mikul M8S uh, Pro L LB. How do you know um, which version you have? If you look at the bottom of the box, let me see if I can come closer. You should have a sticker somewhere around here uh, telling you uh, what model it is. And then at the end it should say LB or QL. One of the two. I was being an idiot and I took that sticker off for a good while back. I was like, Shh, ain't nobody got time for that. Who cares? Yeah, uh, that wasn't smart by my side. But anyhow, it is what it is. Uh, please um, check to see which version you have because this tutorial will apply to both versions. I will be leaving two different links in the description below for two different ROMs, LQ and LB. So please check that out. See which one you have. Obviously, if after flashing the ROM you have no Bluetooth and no Wi-Fi, you got the wrong version. You need to get the right version, bro. Now, with all that being said, guys, let's get to it. Uh, this is going to be a two-part tutorial. The first part, of course, is installing the software. Once the software has been installed on the computer, we're then going to proceed with the flashing on the TV. But most of you who are going to install this ROM obviously know about the features of this ROM and what it does. But if you don't know what the features of this ROM are, I will be putting them in the description below um, so that you guys can uh, check all the features because it's just too much to name. For me, the biggest part of this ROM, which is a huge selling point for me, look guys, I, uh, I review this box just as you guys know. You can check the link here or there, I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to point it both. It is a great box. Uh, I have been having a shitload of fun with this box. But my issue has been, and a lot of people has been having that issue, this shit just kept crashing on me. Like every day, I, I kid you not, almost every day, I would definitely have to uh, um, get up from my couch and pull the plug out and put it back in because the shit would just crash on me. It wasn't really cool, you know, but it is what it is. I can tell you one thing though. After installing this ROM, uh, the ROM that I'm, the, after installing the ROM that we're going to install today, I can confirm I have I've been using this ROM now for the past two and a half weeks, and no crashes whatsoever. The thing hasn't crashed one. It is extremely uh, reliable. When I turn the box on, Wi-Fi still works. Usually, I had an issue where you, you turn the box on after it being on standby for like a few hours and the fucking Wi-Fi wouldn't work, but now it works. So, so guys, I hope that after flashing the ROM, I hope that you guys also see what I see, or I hope that you guys are also having a good time with this ROM and are not experiencing any crashes. If that's the case, then I don't know what to tell you, man. That sounds like a you problem to me. With all of that being said and all of my ranting going on, let's get to flashing, yes. Okay guys, on the computer you need one piece of software, that's all we're going to be using today, uh, the USB burning tool 2.0.8. Make sure you download it from the link below and make sure that you install it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double click this and then it should prompt you to install it. We're just going to say yes in this case. Um, I obviously installed it before, um, choose your language, in this case also English, keep on hitting next until it's finally installed, yes, whatever, next, next, next. Create a desktop icon, yes, we want that for easier usage. Now, you just let that bad boy do its thing and once it's installed, you should have just now a link or you should have uh, somewhere in your desktop a shortcut. Uh, let us let us leave this thing do its thing. And now it should also tell you that it wants to install the drivers. Now, just keep on hitting next. And this should install the drivers that you need for Qualcomm. I already have them, but you know what? I'm just going to click finish because it's already done. You click finish 
and that's it guys uh, if you go to your desktop it should have made a shortcut and here is the shortcut oh wait a minute it should have made a shortcut for you and here's the shortcut for me uh, so what you want to do is you want to start this bad boy up already uh, we won't be needing it right now uh, we're gonna go to the box so oh, wait a minute make sure that this stuff is not in Chinese obviously so you want to click up uh, you want to click uh, on the language settings and you want to put this bad boy in English okay let's move on to the box guys okay all right guys so let's do a quick uh, let's do a quick check of everything you make sure you have your cable and you got to make sure that of course it's hooked up to the box and you have to hook it up to the USB that is closest to the power okay USB closest to the power check put the box down and then you make sure that the other end is connected to your laptop or PC. In this case, I'm using a laptop, so I'm just gonna connect it to the side. Okay, guys, once that has been connected, we're not out of the woods yet because obviously it's not working. What you wanna make sure you do is that you reboot this thing into uh, update mode. In order to do that, you have to make sure that the terminal is turned on or you can just download a terminal yourself if you want to. Uh, how do we make sure that the terminal is turned on? Um, you have to go into settings and here in settings what you want to do is you want to go into about and once you're in about you should see a few uh, options you're supposed to click uh, the build a few times uh, let's see if we can go to that click this the build a few times it should tell you that you're already a developer if you're not if you're not a developer it will tell you that you're a developer and what you want to do is you want to go back once and then here in the main options you should see developer options see this is the developer options you click on that uh, and then you want to make sure that the U, uh, USB debugging of course is turned on by default but terminal is turned on I have already turned it on so for me it's no big deal let's click on that Oh, let's turn it on and then once the terminal has been turned on you can pretty much go into your app drawer and here we're gonna find the terminal now load that terminal up and here you want to type reboot update let's see re boot oh wait a minute this is going totally wrong re boot up date see and now that we have reboot update what you want to do is you want to uh, make sure that you have first of all your laptop open you want to click on enter so after typing in reboot bootloader you should come into this next screen depending on which ROM you have or it should take you to um, uh, another screen like touch when recovery no biggie try again it will take you to the screen as you can see it, it's it's kind of uh, stopped there but that's because my computer has already recognized it let's go to the computer okay guys once your computer has detected the device you can see connect successfully you can pretty much proceed to load the ROM so what you want to do is you want to go to import images and you want to go where you put the ROM uh, please bear in mind guys you have to choose the correct ROM eh? if you have a normal uh, Miku uh, Pro L, not a LB, then you just choose the L. You have an LB, and you're watching this video, make sure you've downloaded LB. Mine is an L, or LQ in this case. I'm just gonna choose that, and then it's gonna load up. Once it's done loading, you can pretty much just continue to flash, and it'll be flash, and you can test it out, guys, trust me. You will not have any crashes happening to you anymore and uh, bluetooth and wi-fi and everything that needs to be working including netflix and hd will work if it's not working you can always look at my video that i made not so long ago uh, which will you will see in one of these cards on how to get uh, that working um, netflix and hd on this box and every other box that is google uh, certified Notice how I did the finger thingy there going on. Yeah, well, that's how we roll. Once uh, the ROM has been loaded, what you want to do is you don't want to mess with none of these options. Leave them as it is. Um, and you want to do start. Once you do start, um, it should tell you that it's doing some stuff. Look at this. Download 4% U-boot. 
and that's it. You just pretty much have to wait and leave it to a thing, guys. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's almost done installing. It's at 98%. Uh, once again, uh, oh, 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 it's on 98%. Focus, camera. As you can see, it's now on 98%, so it should be focus, camera. It should be done in a few. Now it's on 100%. Okay, guys, when it's on 100%, what you wanna do is you wanna stop the process, obviously. Okay, you wanna close the laptop. And if you have any kind of adult beverage, you might wanna drink it now. Okay, now we have the box. All you have to do with the box is you just gotta plug out the USB cable. Look, the box is still on red, see that? What you wanna do is you wanna plug the power cable out, plug it back in, it'll be blue. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo. as you can see, the Nexus ROM has been installed, the latest and greatest from Magandaz, guys. If you want a device that is no longer crashing you, I advise you to install that ROM. It's gonna take a while to install, so please bear with that, but once it's done, you're good to go. Once again, guys, this has been another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. And if this video has helped you out in any kind of way, please don't forget to Hulk smash that like button. And if you can, a sub would be fantastic. Well, it would be great. What now, fantastic? Just sub, goddammit. Well, thank you once again for your time, and have a very nice day, guys. See you on the next one.